Um, our next speaker is Richard Debu, who is the deputy leader and parliamentary candidate for Islington in London for Animals Count, who is taking on the main political parties and giving the electorate a real choice in the general election. Richard has recently debated animal protection and environmental issues with the current MP and gained great exposure with a call to end animal experiments in a widely publicized video interview with the Daily Telegraph. Please welcome Richard Debu. As the parliamentary candidate for Animals Count in the general election, I am going out to the electorate every day. I am engaging in debate with our elected representatives and I am making the call for justice for all. And unlike all those other politicians, I really mean it. And Animals Count demand an immediate end to the unjustifiable, intolerable harm done to those millions confined in the UK's laboratories. We know that justice can only be served if enslavement is eradicated everywhere. And that must include putting an end to the violent incarceration of animals in the UK's laboratory. It is time to do away for all time with the intellectually inept and dishonest nonsense of vivisection. And we will see the day when we can walk lawfully into the last of those research labs. And we will be there when the last cage door is open. And we will be there when we see the last animal carried gently forward from confinement to everlasting freedom. We will see the day. Thank you. Before we see how Richard Debu and Animals Count did in the general election, let's have a quick look at the Animals Count political party. Firstly, Animals Count is a UK political party based on the Dutch political party called Party for the Animals. Party for the Animals has 26 elected representatives in Holland including two MPs and a Senator. It's important to remember that in Holland they have proportional representation. If they had had our first past the post system, I doubt very much if they would have any elected representatives at all. Animals Count founder and leader Jasmine Debu, who is no relation to Richard Debu, is herself Dutch and therefore cannot stand in UK elections. Also, Animal Count spokesman, Andrew Knight, is Australian, and therefore he can't stand in UK elections either. In the European elections, Animals Count has managed to stand several candidates. However, in this general election, Richard Debu was their sole candidate. Before we see how Richard Debu got on in the general election, I'm going to quickly plug Animals Count spokesman, Andrew Knight. Andrew, who is a practicing vet, is an expert in discrediting animal tests on scientific grounds. If you are interested in this side of the argument, check out Andrew's website, animalexperiments.info. So how did Richard Debu get on in the London constituency of Islington South and Finsbury? I'm afraid Richard didn't get on very well as he only polled 149 votes.